Hi, it's Adrienne. How are you doing today? And so I'm back uh, with a new video, and we want to say happy birthday, ColourPop. They are turning 10 years old, and this particular Super Shock Shadow is a free gift with purchase as long as they last, and I guess it would help if I show it the right way around. So isn't it cute? It's a silver, silver shadow, and... that's the way that it kind of swatches so it's really pretty silver shadow so I have it on my inner corner as my inner corner pop today I'll just add some more so there's an inner corner pop for you and again happy birthday color pop and uh, these are really cute it's a really nice color too so um, we'll go ahead and get started with what I have on and I did go ahead and start or start with Super Goop Glow Oil SPF 50 there. Um, let's see, I did go ahead and use the Pretty Fresh Foundation by ColourPop. And I went ahead and added in the Soul. Um, this is the Face and Body Bronzer and Fair. And Soul is a sister company to ColourPop. They do the body products. And so this is what I have on for my base today. As far as what I did for bronzer, I got out another sole product, and this was the um, medium bronzer that they have, and so that's what I have on as far as bronzer today. And let's see, what else did I do here? Oh, one of my favorite blushes, Sunset Strip uh, by ColourPop, and so this is what I have on as far as blush today. And yeah. That's the way that that one came out. Um, I did mix my highlighters. I started with ColourPop uh, Out of Quartz. And this one is actually listed as a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a blush. I, I use it as a highlighter, so I put some of that. And then I went ahead and put Seismic uh, from ColourPop on top of it. Seismic does have a little bit of glitter in it, so if you don't necessarily like that, you may not like Seismic, but it's one of my favorites. And so this is what I have on for highlighter. Highlighter, highlighter, highlighter. And then as far as what I have on for uh, the actual eyeshadow today, I did get the Precious Metals palette by, and this is their new makeup palette, um, I am loving this packaging. And it's not that I don't like the packaging on the other makeup palettes, but this is just so fun. And for a 10th anniversary, yeah, this is, it's it's good. It's really good. I, um, yeah, it's a good palette. And so um, this is the palette, and it has three uh, columns that are going to be warm and three columns that are going to be cool. As far as what I have on today, I did go ahead and start with this one in the crease. And then I went ahead and put this one on the lid. Uh, this one actually from here to here. And then uh, this one, their new glitter shadows. And again, I did go ahead and put that on the lid. So I had that right along here. Um, I did use this one to go ahead and be an eyeliner for me today and use some of this in the outer corner to go ahead and deepen it up. And it's just a gorgeous palette and it's amazing so far. I don't have anything to complain about. That's the way that the look came out. And um, there are a couple of really cool things about this uh, palette and I'm going to go ahead and refer to uh, Makeup Just for Fun. Uh, that's Amanda over there that does that. She did a video called Precious Metals on this palette and she's um, she goes ahead and does a comparison so she'll go ahead and compare all the ColourPop palettes um, to the you know to the new release and so you get a whole bunch of ideas that way and when she did her um, video she went ahead and compared the warm side of the palette to Going Coconuts, Lucky Penny, Wild Child, whatever, California Love, Golden Hour, Your Golden and Bare Necessities and so Wild Child 
And why I'm showing you these is because this, of course, this is uh, one comparison she did to the cool side of the palette. Um, and the cool side, she compared that's that's taupe of quartz, blow and smoke, cloud nine, eleven, eleven, very well, troublemaker, rock candy, and stone cold fox. So what I'm saying to you here is that this palette, the precious metals palette, is broken into uh, three columns of warm and three columns of cool. If you're like me and you're a big color pop collector, and I am and I kept them because I think it's I just enjoy collecting ColourPop but um, the fact is that a lot of these um, palettes are getting older and to be able to buy a palette like this to go ahead and replace maybe not all the shades in the palette but be able to do a look that's pretty close to the of quartz palette you know it's not going to have all the all the shades of of quartz it's not going to have all the shades of wild child but it's going to have a lot of it's going to have some of the actual shades or shades that are really close to these actual shades and um Basically, if you want to go ahead and replace a whole bunch of your ColourPop palettes, going ahead and getting precious metals is a really good way to do that. It won't replace every color in the palette, but you'll be able to get a really similar look. And for a lot of us that have gone ahead and, you know, we have big ColourPop collections, the fact that a couple of the palettes are getting to the point, and here's one. California Love, I got this a very long time ago. I'm keeping it, to keep it in my collection um, for situations like this when I need to swatch it or um, because I'm a collector. But um, this palette is, I can wear it, but it's not necessarily the best idea because it's older. And the fact that I have precious metals now that I can do a look that's pretty similar to California Love is actually making me a very happy camper right now. Because I was actually thinking about that and I was thinking about the fact that, you know, I I enjoy these palettes. I don't want to put them away and never be able to use them. And I wouldn't have kept them if I didn't like them. So the fact that I can now replace portions of them and be able to get some looks that are what I consider classic ColourPop looks is just making me a happy camper. So I think the ColourPop's 10th anniversary was really good for me. I hope it went really well for ColourPop as well. But the fact that I can now do some of my favorite looks and that they're in a palette that is you know still still good to go and ready to use and still current then that just makes me really really happy and I really appreciate it so thank you ColourPop and uh, as far as uh, what I have on my lips which I just remembered I didn't do here I have Just Because by ColourPop on, and then I also have the uh, So Glassy, so I have these two on. I think we need some more gloss here. One other thing about the Precious Metals palette, and um, it's a good point and a bad point. I guess it depends on if you like glitter or not. Um, but I do think this does have a c couple of the glitter formulas in there. This one right down here I'm pretty sure is a glitter. And their glitter formula is newer. They've been working on it. The glitter is really finely milled and it sticks so you don't need a glitter glue. Um, so with that part I really like that part. And um, <clears throat> Uh, again, if you would like to go ahead and check out Amanda's video, it's called Precious Metals, and she does go ahead 
and uh, do comparisons with all of the palettes that I listed off. And um, so you can really see, you know, I may not be getting all of the colors from that palette, but I can get a look that's pretty similar to it. And I just thought that that was a really good thing. So um, I'm sharing it, and I hope that you have a great day and that you enjoyed the video, and I will see you later. Bye.